A lot of people, when they think about programming, they think of hackers. These black screens with long gibberish green text, typing unhealthy fast, glasses come to mind for sure, pimples on the face. It's just typically not a person you would want to hang out with. We've all seen this guy in South Park, right? Or these two dudes in Silicon Valley. The programmer image has always been this isolated, unlikable character. And I'll be honest, there's some truth to that. I, in fact, there's a lot of truth to that. I know a lot of guys like this, and there's nothing particularly wrong with this guy. But programming has changed. It's become such a wide industry, and, and we'll talk about the reasons for that later. With so many layers and specialty areas that anybody with any level of creativity can find programming as doable and as satisfying as any other career choice. Notice I said creativity and not IQ and math. Ultimately, programming is about problem solving. That's true. But those problems are not limited to algorithms and difficult math problems, you know, things that most people just find boring and they don't want to do. It used to be, but no longer. Software is everywhere. It's become a massive part of our lives. You know this guy? Or this guy? Or this guy? Or any of these guys? We are all dealing with software from the moment we wake up. Actually, before we even wake up, you know, when you set your alarm on the night before and all throughout the day, you're using software whether you know it or not. Do you really need me to tell you how much from Uber to your food delivery to Airbnb to your CNN uh, news app to Tinder or Grindr? I don't know. All the way till you go to bed at night again and set that alarm. It's all software. And not all of it was written by nerds who are incredible at math. Just like everything else we use on a daily basis, we found out that we like things to be functional and practical, but we also like them to be cool and pretty. So with that in mind, our, our websites and our apps also started to become kind of cool looking. A new kind of programming was introduced. The kind of programming that nerds didn't really care about taking on. Instead, people with a sense of design and creativity and user experience and interfaces and communication through beautiful graphics. All of this is a huge part of modern software. So it's allowed a lot of people with different kinds of backgrounds to get in, especially creative people, designers, musicians, and artists, even people who didn't do anything art related, but always knew that they had some kind of creative and art talent. This guy doesn't care about a beautiful interface. So the creative programmers need to show up. The old school programmer stereotype just doesn't cut it anymore. The mixture of creativity and problem solving is just so attractive to a lot of people who otherwise wouldn't be interested in programming at all. So we need people like you with different backgrounds and interests and ways of thinking to write all these cool things and build these amazing apps for everybody else to use. Imagine your work is in the pocket of everybody around the world who has a phone. This is a new privilege that's now accessible to you. Take advantage of it. If you're wondering whether you can do it or not, I'm here to tell you, yes, you can. Yes, we can. Yes, you can. Yes, we can. And you will love it. And it, will, it won't take nearly as much as you think. The only question is, what the f is programming? And that's next. Coming up.